It's the end of day one at the Southwest Regional. We're here with Tommy Hackenbrook, the coach of not only one, two teams, and they just happen to be finished at the end of day one, first and second place. Were you expecting that? Be honest. Um, no, I was expecting both our teams to, to battle for the top four. I felt like there's four really solid teams here, and, and there may be more than that, but I, you know, two that I have a great deal of respect for, front range and, and cross at the club, that I know their athletes really well, and knew it was going to be a dogfight for the four spots. So I, I expected us to both be in the hunt, but it's, it's gone way better than as planned. <laughs>and that's making you guys so competitive this year. Just pushing each other. We got not just, you know, six people this year like we had last year, but we have now 12 people who are all hungry and, and willing to put in a little bit extra time and a little bit extra skill work and um, just kind of feeding off each other. You have athletes like Taylor Richards Lindsay, you know, overhead squatting 200 pounds and, um, you know, it just makes all the girls stronger trying to keep up with her. Um, how do you guys decide who makes the teams? Hacks Pack is the same as last year. You know, we, we were all very close friends and wanted to take the same exact team. We've been training since the game's ended. We've gone on trips and everything. So, so that was settled. Um, the second team came down to, we had, you know, two people that were kind of our alternates for Hacks Pack. Mm -hmm. And I talked to them before the Open. I said, hey, do you want to be an alternate or do you want to put another team together? Because there's some other good athletes. And they opted to put another team together. So we just... You know, took the best available, and uh, they turned out to be pretty good. This is my boy. We're doing our thing out here. This is what it's like, just arguing, arguing, arguing. Look at this. They just, like... And, it, and then we have to 275 for you. Yeah, for sure. Squeaked out with another victory. What do you guys attribute all this uh, strong workery to? We overhead squat a lot, and uh, figured out last year, I just got excited about overhead squats for some reason. We started maxing out once a week. And it's amazing what just a lot of practice will do. You guys max out on overhead squats once a week? We did for a period of like three months, and then we backed off it after that. But everyone's maxes shot up significantly to where we were happy with them, and then we just kind of pulled it back a little bit. Well, I mean, both the women and the men of you guys for this event, kind of, kind of not very good on the overhead squat portion. You really have to rely on the muscle-up burpee portion of this workout then. Yeah, it, it carried us. We're Obviously, we're all small. Uh, pathetically weak people, so we struggle with the heavyweights, but the gymnastics was okay. Squeaked by on their lack of strength, but uh, luckily they know how to do these gymnastic y things. Um, I knew I could get 175 pretty easily, and then Tommy said, Whatever I want to do after that, it's up to me. But then he said 200. <laughs> did you want to get a PR, or did you just want to hit a certain weight and kind of save some strength for tomorrow? No, I wanted a PR. Like you said, we overhead squat a ton. I wanted to see it pay off. Yeah, the goal, uh, there's seven best scores out there in the seven team workouts. And so, of course, we have our sights set on every one of them. And, and the goal is to beat every one of those. Um, you know, you, you, you might fall short, you might get it, but uh, you got to set the goals high.